afternoon so far, all of this talk about Google and Android TV. So it's great to have the opportunity to spend um, a quick 10 minutes here right now to run you through really what Android TV is, why Google is to commi committed to the TV, why it makes sense as part of our broader strategy for Android, what Android TV has to, op uh, to offer for operators. Um, I think the chat from Aris stole my thunder a little bit on that earlier on, but hopefully I can reinforce that message. You know, repetition is good. Um, and then um, finally, what the process is actually like if you work with Google and Android on an Android TV deployment. Um, my name is Ed Korn. I was a late replacement for Amon Dean. I recently joined the Android TV team to focus on TV. Um, prior to the last six months or so, um, the Android team didn't have TV specialists within it. It didn't have people dedicated to kind of driving the partnership side of TV as well as the technology side. And this reflects the real kind of seriousness with which we want to engage the ecosystem. All sorts of partners at every layer of the value chain to make sure we're building um, a platform that really works for everybody. Okay, so I've got about 10 minutes to run through this. Um, a quick run through about Android TV and the ecosystem in general. Uh, then some thoughts on what we offer operators, and then finally the process of working with us. I'm going to be quite nice and quick on this first bit, but why Android TV? A, a deliberately double-sided question. Um, why Android TV from an operator's perspective? What is it that might be attractive about it? And also why Android TV from Google's perspective? Um, what's in it for us, which is often the very first question we get asked in any of these sorts of meetings. Um, so firstly, very, very quickly, these are all trends that you'll be incredibly familiar with and have been spoken about an awful lot this morning. But we, of course, see um, a whole lot of innovation in the content space around OTT, um, more and more content providers going, to, uh, going direct to consumer, um, and big, big changes in the consumer landscape in terms of consumption habits, consumers using, spending more and more time on their mobiles, um, and expecting TV um, to have a look and feel and a pace of innovation that's more like what they see on their smartphones. Um, and as we've been talking about in this session so far, Open source platforms allow that pace of innovation. They allow all parts of the value chain to get together and move quickly, and deploy software updates, drive new features. Uh, and they also allow what we're seeing a lot of um, offer innovation and the ability for operators to respond to that pace of change. And all of these things might have been seen as, as kind of challenges to the traditional operator model in the past. Um, but we think that Android TV um, enables operators to turn those challenges into real advantages, turn those challenges into strengths. So we offer a, a, a rich and engaging platform and UI, but also it's very, very flexible. Um, as Darren said earlier, operators can customize it um, completely. Uh, we, of course, bring the extensive app ecosystem uh, from the Play Store, delivering to all those OTT uh, needs and enabling operators to, uh, to deliver a, a platform that means that users don't need to switch to HDMI 2 to go somewhere else. You can keep them within your environment. You can keep control of their user journeys. You can keep control of monetization. Um, and, of course, Android is a cross-device platform built from the ground up to allow seamless experiences um, and to allow um, TV operators and TV vendors to benefit from the advances we might make in mobile or in IoT or even in auto. Who knows? We might build something over there that helps us build a better TV platform. And from a Google point of view, that point about seamless interaction between the different form factors is absolutely key. Um, so when Google invested in um, and acquired Android all those years ago, we had an incredibly fragmented um, mobile landscape. And Go Google being a company that delivers services, uh, fragmentation is a real problem. Um, so we acquired Android, made it open sourced, um, and used it to drive consistency um, across the mobile market. And we now see um, Google expanding that into other form factors. So over the last two or three years, IoT, Android Things, Android Wear, um, Azure TV, of course, and Android Auto, looking to build really seamless experiences that draw together those different form factors um, and looking to help solve that fragmentation challenge um, for Google on our own services and products, but also, I think, more importantly, for the developer ecosystem more broadly. Um, so you can build once and publish many times, maybe even to all of these different form factors, um, and also for operators. So you can invest with a, a company like Google that's going to drive innovation at the platform level and operating system level, but also bring you that amazing app ecosystem and all of that innovation. And what we've seen over the last couple of years is real momentum building through partnerships with a lot of leading brands. Um, so you will have seen Android TV um, TVs, uh, which we've shown on the left-hand side there. We're partnering with um, a lot of the major TV manufacturers and driving significant volumes there. In the middle, we're working with many, many of the um, biggest set-top box vendors, set-top box providers, uh, working really, really hard with those guys to make it as easy as possible for them to deploy Android TV. 
um, and a growing universe of pay TV operators. So we now have all of these pay operators on the right-hand side here with Android TV um, devices out in field, from Bouygues and Free in France to LGU and KDDI in Korea to Airtel in India, Telecom Italia, Sling TV in the US, Telus in Canada, Stouffer in the Nordics, um, all pay TV operators now building on top of Android TV. Um, and what is it that those operators are actually doing? Uh, I think it's, it's really important for us to try and um, establish really clearly what we offer as Android. There is, of course, the, the Android operating system, um, AOSP, at the bottom here. Open source, free of charge, anyone free to build exactly what they want on top of it. Um, a full operating system, including a UI if you want it, um, but without Google services and with no business or technical relationship with Google. Then on top of that, what we refer to as Android TV is layering on top of that um, a range of Google services, um, which um, still has the acronym Google uh, GMS. Um, what that means is the, the Play Store, 3,000 plus TV optimized, kind of lean back optimized apps, play movies, play music, YouTube, um, cast, uh, voice search, and coming to TVs gradually over the next year to two years um, assistant. And if an operator goes with this Android TV model, they still get complete control of the live TV app. They can build their own live TV app, or they can customize ours, integrate with their PVR, deliver their on-demand services. And then alongside that, you have an Android TV launcher providing access to this. And what we found was that worked really well for retail, um, but operators need more flexibility than that. They have very, very significant investments they've made in content. They need to be able to present that content in the way that is best for them, monetize it in the way that is best for them, keep full control over consumer journeys, over the data they take back from consumers. And we absolutely acknowledge that they're their customers, so they should be able to completely design that user experience. So what we did was we introduced the operator tier on top of all of this which allows operators full flexibility to create their, a, a complete UI, UX of their own, a completely custom launcher. The only requirements we have when they build within that is that they retain access to uh, the Google mobile services. They retain the, the ability for users to go somewhere within that UI and find those apps. Um, and of course, when we move to the operator tier, we also have new revenue opportunities for operators. Uh, so you can do a direct carrier billing integration with Google, for example, meaning that when a consumer buys anything or pays for anything within the Play Store, um, that can be delivered through their operator's bill um, and, the, and it can be a new revenue stream um, for operators. What we think that means overall is a number of really great benefits, um, similar to what we've heard overall in this session um, about RDK. We think you can deliver really, really exciting, um, excitingly quick time to market. Operators are able, if they work within um, kind of experienced manufacturers and with the silicon vendors that we work very closely with, uh, we can deliver services in, in just a matter of months. So that's really exciting for operators looking to innovate fast. But on top of that, there's a very great amount of flexibility to differentiate. Um, the Android TV is completely agnostic to what broadcast stack you want to integrate, what conditional access, what security, what type of UI, UX you want to put on top of that, uh, whether you want to build in, in Android or HTML. There really is a huge amount of flexibility for operators to do exactly what they want and deliver the experience that they want on top of that. And of course, by working with Android TV, um, you're harnessing yourself to the, the engine of innovation that is Google. We'll be bringing the Assistant, our AI product, to TVs gradually over the next um, year to two years. And the possibilities inherent in that are really, really exciting. Um, so the, the natural language processing and the, the voice search that's uh, technology that will be able to control all sorts of interactions on the set-top box, um, but also some, some really deep integrations into operators. We're just hearing operators being really excited about those possibilities. Um, and a, a highly secure platform as well. We're building on the years and years of experience, um, uh, you know, 1.5 billion plus Android mobile devices, building on all of that experience that Google has of building a secure platform. Um, Android TV comes with wide vine and play ready and can integrate any other security or conditional access that you need. It's trusted by the studios, Netflix, to deliver 4K content at the moment. So a highly secure platform that really is kind of ready for pay TV. Um, and finally, of course, you're getting that app and developer ecosystem. 3,000 apps and counting, a lot of amazing big screen, full screen games there, a lot of operators excited about the possibility to deliver a cloud gaming service, for example, um, and uh, access to all of those OTT services. You can really tie yourself to that growing, growing ecosystem. Um, very finally, what does it mean to work with us? Uh, we offer support throughout the whole process. Um, at the outset, in terms of design and hardware, we're consulting with all parts of the industry to help operators make the best choices for their device. 
Uh, we work um, extensively with silicon vendors to develop <coughs> reference designs that are kind of pre-approved and we know will make it through all of our tests. If you work with those guys in a very, very simple um, deployment, very, very simple project, get to market very fast. And then through the implementation phase, we will work flexibly with operators and their OEM partners um, to cooperate, to, um, to um, make sure everything's lined up, and we make test suites available so operators can do their testing as they go along. Uh, and then we have a review stage where we ensure Android platform compatibility and we test the performance of Google services. Uh, and then as we get to in life, of course, the relationship continues. Google delivers a new version of Android every year with exciting new uh, things on the platform. We should all tune in for I.O. Later, later on today where we'll see some, some big announcements <laughs> around TV and what, what the Android O platform can offer. Um, and those updates can be delivered by Google or by the operator themselves, another example of the flexibility we enable. Um, so thank you very much for your attention. It's great to, great to be here. Um, any questions, please do send me an email.